Hey everyone, this is Ken, and today I'm going to be doing a story guys on a brand new Iron Ingot farm where we're using the Minecraft Create mod for 1.18. Now this bad boy is self-powered, fully automatic, and you're going to get about 100 ingots an hour. Now to kind of explain how this works, we're using a windmill to create all the power we need to make this super efficient. Now if you go all the way to the top here, what we have here is five mechanical drills making cobblestone non-stop. Now that goes right down here to these millstones, we're just going to turn that cobblestone and grind it up and make it into gravel. And if you go right here to the bottom guys, we have some encased fans, which are shooting air through water to clean that gravel to make two things. One of them is flint, which clearly we don't need, so we're going to dump all that right into the lava. And the second thing is iron nuggets. Now the cool thing about this guys, all that iron nuggets is going to go directly into that basin. The second you get about nine iron nuggets, that press will go right down and you're going to get an iron ingot. And that iron ingot is going to go right down here and flow into the chute, into that chest, and guys, and you're going to get, like I said, a hundred ingots an hour, which is great. Now, pause the video at this point. You're going to need these lists, these items, to create the build going forward. All right. Now that we got that all squared off, the spacing you're going to need is about five wide, 14 long, and this thing is about 15 tall, so it's no short build. Now about one block forward, you're going to add a launch chest and a crafting table to the right and a chute right on top of the actual chest. Now on the sides, guys, you're going to add some slabs. It's completely optional, but I'm going to show you exactly how I made mine. And you're going to add some stairs all around like so and just simply wrap this around to the other side so you connect with the actual slab. Now take a block of your choice and fill that in the middle. You want to cover all this up. Fantastic. And in the back here, guys, you want to make a five by three platform right across with, once again, a block of your choice. I'm using deep slate, but you don't have to use that. You can use any other block. Then you add two blocks in the middle and then three stairs like so. And then you're going to curve the last one at the back. You see? Now over here, guys, you're going to make a two by three platform and you're going to repeat that twice. Now, once you've done that, get your bucket of lava. And you're going to dump it right in the middle. And you're going to get your depot and place it right on top of the chute and your basin right on top of that first block so that the items can fall into the depot. And you're going to place a hopper going towards the basin in the back end. Now, once you've done that, guys, you're going to place a block there temporarily, place another depot and a brass funnel going towards the furnace like so, coming from the depot and one underneath with the arrows facing down. Those arrows make a big difference. Now, Right in that little spacing, you're going to place the flint right in there so that only the flint goes right through here. And in front of here, you're going to place that iron nugget into that filter so that only iron nuggets go in the front. Now, the basin has its own filter. and You're going to place an actual iron ingot in there and your mechanical press right on top like so. Now, back here, guys, going to add two encased fans. We'll get to that later. And over here, guys, we're going to place two cogwheels, like so, and three shafts going towards the back. Now you're going to add two blocks here and then four blocks back here. And right there, guys, going to add a smart chute on top of the depot and a barrel right on top. Now over here, guys, you're going to gauge how many items have to shoot out. You're going to put 64, the max. So always a stack falls through and one bucket of water on the top part of that fan. So it just flows right there. Now this is completely optional, but you gotta add two andesite casings just to cover that up. And I like to do just add two stone slabs on both sides just to make it look nice as, you know, more of a structural piece. Now here guys, you're gonna get nine shoes. You're gonna place one in the middle, one on each side, one, two, and another one on each side. It's gonna automatically curve out. Then you're gonna place one right on top of the middle, do the same thing, one on each side, and then one more on top of that middle and you get this perfect kind of V-shape. Now you're going to get the encased chain drives, place three going right up in the middle. Then you're going to place your vertical gearbox in the back end. Now once you've done that, you're going to place a shaft right there on the left-hand side with three cogwheels. So one in the front, one at an angle, and one in the middle. See? To just to create this kind of L-shape. Now, right in the middle, guys, you're going to add a large cogwheel going downwards towards a right angle. And in front of that cogwheel, you're going to add a small one. Then place a large cogwheel at an angle from the small one. Then a small one in front of the large cogwheel. 
and one more cogwheel going towards the right angle from the small one. And once you have that guys, you're gonna get a vertical gearbox and place a shaft right on top of it. And on top of that, you're gonna add a windmill bearing. Now that's what's gonna create that power. Now you're gonna add five sails right across in the middle. And in the opposite direction, you're gonna add two on each side. One, two, and one, two over here, right in the middle, kind of creating this kind of T, kind of square shape, uh, X shape, if that makes sense. And you're gonna repeat that an additional 10 times. So it should be a grand total of 11 tall. Now over here, guys, you're gonna add three shafts going upwards with a large cogwheel and another cogwheel at an angle. Doesn't matter which side. And over here, guys, you're gonna add your five millstones. Then you're gonna add another vertical gearbox right on top of that cogwheel with another small cogwheel and a large cogwheel going at an angle. And behind that cogwheel, we're gonna add five cogwheels right across. And um, it, they should be parallel to the millstones, if that makes sense. Because in front of these cogwheels, we're actually gonna add a mechanical drill. See, so they all should line up beautifully with this. Now you're gonna add a chute on top of each one of those millstones. And in front of the millstones, guys, completely optional, but you're gonna wrap it around with some stairs. One is just super decorative, it just looks nicer. And um, like I said, guys, if you wanna tweak it up, that's, that's completely up to you, you can really change this up. You're gonna add three blocks on each side once you've done that, and you're gonna add some stairs right in the front part here. And inside those stairs, you're gonna add one bucket of water. Now, you guys know me, I love stairs. So you're gonna add some more stairs on top, and you're gonna wrap that all around. Perfect. Then you're gonna add your one bucket of lava on the top part of that, not on the inside, so that it can spread out beautifully. And once you have that done, you're gonna add some slabs on top of the stair just to make this look like kind of that chimney feel. Now, once you have that look, guys, all you have to do with nothing in your hand, just activate the millstone and that's it. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, hit that like button when you get a chance, and make sure to hit the notification bell so you can always see the upcoming videos. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. Remember to please leave a comment and to click that subscribe button if you want to join. Thank you.